that's my only, yep, those are my only moves. It's not really helpful to move the uh, recon forward at this point. I'll just leave it here. Alright, next turn. There's, there's the message about Kiltsy. And we did not see any planes. So next turn I'm probably going to have both planes coming back at me. <laughs> He'll spend this turn reinforcing them with the points he just got. Uh, for me not taking Kiltsy by turn four, and uh, he'll roll him out the hangers. Oh joy! And he did not reinforce, so I've got limited targets my planes can hit, so we can probably just strafe him to death with one of our fighters. That way I can use my forward units for other things. I've only got, yeah, the only things I can reach are this guy, that town. And that's it. So, my hope is that I can push him off of here, get this uh, taken control of, and then rebase my fighters up there this turn, since I don't have much I can do with them. Yeah. Alright, so that's eliminated. One fighter used for that. I can't, or I, I still can't get this bomber to relocate, to rebase to this particular base. Maybe it's fixed now in the retail version. In the uh, press preview version, I just couldn't do it. I did a test game, and I still couldn't do it in the test game. Uh, yeah, putting a fighter over the artery, arty for uh, air defense would be definitely a possibility. Um... So, let's go ahead and uh, use the bomber. Zero, zero. Lovely. So, I've got three units we can roll forward to Kiltsy currently. Or four units with the RD. Not going to be enough to completely surround it. How close can we get? Get the infantry right up to the edge of the town on this side. I can get... Him up here, but I suspect we're going to have at least one more unit coming down the road. That would give me the uh, the surround, or I could go all the way to the airfield. Yeah, definitely want that. Now, with him going around to prevent that... See, that's weird, because if... Does it actually take points? I don't think it, because if I forced the movement to go directly adjacent to him, I would have enough points to get to the airfield this round. Hmm. Or would I prefer just to get the encirclement I'm not going to be able to bring the artillery up. I don't think I'm going to be able to land any damage on this this round, so the encirclement bonus is somewhat useless. Hmm. Alright, we're going to do a faux science. I'm going to try to force the movement directly adjacent and then around. Because before I highlighted this, I was able to make it to this space with my available movement points. So I want to see if I go to here, or then to here, if it'll let me work my way all the way around in his zone of control. I don't think it costs any movement points for the recon unit. Oh, this, is, this isn't my recon. Never mind. <laughs> my bad. Don't mind me. His hands are lightly damaged. Um... We're going to get my artillery. I can only get him to there. Yeah, again, one short of getting him in range one, this turn. <laughs> so we'll drop them off here. Next turn, they can advance one and then bombard. 
I don't want to leave them unprotected, so I think I'm not going to try to scurry around. Let's just uh, get everybody in the area. Get them prepped. Keep them grouped up. We'll next turn use the uh, recon to go hit that airfield and get rid of that plane. I see you, plane. <laughs> um, we'll get the airfield and then we'll come around to the backside so we get the encirclement. And then we'll be able to hit it with everything the next round. All right, so we got the southern part done. Uh, we have not yet captured the city. Ideally, I want to uh, get rid of this. So we're going to bring the, ar or the armor up to there. Bring... Yeah, I can't get anybody to the other side. Damn it. Once again, I can't quite get an encirclement. Unless I take the city or move that guy first. Oh, I know he won't be attacking. He has to. He has, since he hasn't reinforced it yet, he'll have to reinforce it at the beginning of his turn. So that plane's definitely not going anywhere. He's got another plane up here, which he could have reinforced this round. So one plane might attack. Um, I think. I don't need you there, so I think I still need to bring this guy up. Extra infantry. Oh yeah, infantry would have an easy time pushing him off. Right now I think it's more important that I get my planes rebased early than to worry about this lone guy. So we'll bring you up. And hopefully we'll finish him off and give me an overrun. Might not. Cool. Uh, no, we're not going there. We will just take the airport. Now we've secured the airport. We're going to re... Let's see. Who is vulnerable? My already is going to be vulnerable unless I reinforce it this turn. All right, let's take one of the uh, fighter support planes and we'll bring it up. Does it have to be directly on it or does it? Support fire against enemy fighters hacking friendly enemy bomber or friendly bombers. We'll also intercept enemy bombers. I think if I bring it up in front, that's going to be the likely direction for the attack. So I think if I bring it up here, we should be fine. Got very little effect in here anyway. Um, what are these guys looking like? Oh, they're fully, they're almost completely suppressed. I could actually push these guys out right now. There are 8 Suppression, 9 Strength, so they've only got 1 Effective Combat Strength. So I can get these guys relocated. If I were able to surround them, <laughs> I could uh, force a surrender, but I got no movement, not enough units to get the full... Let's do this. Bring you forward. Yeah, we'll go in with the infantry. Then we'll Blitzkrieg with the tank. Perfect. Alright, so another overrun. It'll let me get a lot of progress. Hmm. I don't want to move forward a lot, though. I would like to at least secure this bridge. Or stay in the area for fighter cover. We're only on turn five. And uh, we'll probably take Kiltsy, if not next turn, the turn after. Barring much in the way of reinforcements. This group. 
this one I've got to park one infantry here and then run other units up to get the encirclement going on and then just start bombing it to get it suppressed and then force the uh, force the easy fight eventually. So it'll be move him up there. Yeah, I think with this guy I'm, I'm just going to... I don't know, I'm tempted to stay where I'm at. Just park a, park a fighter over here. I am the uh, the Axis. We are Germany, invading Poland. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm not in a hurry. I, I just gotta. I gotta rein in my my desire to just keep pushing forward and forward and forward. So let's do this. Let's take one fighter craft, park it, and my weakest unit is that and that. He might go after either. Um, I think I'm going to go right here, because that'll interdict him. If he comes straight from this location across, even to try to get to this guy, I think I'll catch him. We'll give it a try. So we'll park you there. You... No, nope, still can't rebase there. <laughs> I don't know why. I didn't quite get that one this round, so there'll be another round before we can rebase this. Nobody in range to hit, so... Uh, just rebase forward to there, I guess. You rebase this one. Alright, so our planes are done. Our southern command is done, and I'm happy with what we've got up here. Alright, turn five. We're doing good. Fairly full strength over here. We're only, what, two points shy and three points shy. So a little bit of damage. I'll probably have to do some reinforcing when we take Kiltzee. Uh And I'd like to have a round to reinforce my Storm Panzer back up to full strength. As well as the uh, Panzer, fourth Panzer. Now let's see what happens. Let's make sure I didn't miss anybody. That I remember. That I don't care about. Yep, just those two. Really? Whoa! Hammered me! Hammered me! Alright. That wasn't friendly. So, he did reinforce his planes. He's got them back up to six. He did not send his other group out, so he probably had not yet reinforced that. <clears throat> so, step one. <laughs> Go take the airfield. That'll force him to rebase. Oh, I don't have enough points to get back again. <laughs> All right. Um, I know you're coming forward, one. Get you around to the far side. So we got the encirclement going on. Um, yeah, I just wish you had one more point. All right, so that group's done, unless I start firing. Um, these guys are down to 10 effective strength currently. This is my pioneer unit, but now that we got hammered, our effectiveness is down. I really need to soften that up. And I got no planes in range other than this one. He's not going to do much. All right. Let's um, get you rebased. Now that we own this, gonna let me rebase even though it shows that enemy plane there. I don't want to send my bomber over there if that thing's gonna fight. <laughs> All right, it's time for a faux science. Um, yeah, we've got to rebase as well. So here's a faux science. We're going to try to rebase. It tells me I can, but uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this guy. Is this guy even in air? Oh, he's not. All right, so we shouldn't have a problem either way. It's going to look funny to have us both in the air above that, though. Oh, that's right. It just parks me in adjacent space. All right, that's fine. He'll have to move on beginning his turn. He'll rebase up to the other one. Um... 
Let's see. So we're going to have probably both his planes come out next round, which is going to suck. We'll have to be careful with which units are putting themselves out there. Uh, for sure, we're going to go ahead and uh, do some elite replacements, get strength plus four, get him back up to full strength. Cost me 185. Do eat. So we'll delay our advance for a turn while we bring some units back up to full strength here. All right. Infantry units are good. Planes are good. So the northern group's good. Do I hit these guys this turn? He's going to do nothing to help that. Well, we definitely do this at least. Let's start getting the suppression. Hey, we got one and three. That was a good result. He's down to six now. That should flip the odds a bit. Two and three now. I still think I'm going to wait one more turn. We'll wait one more turn. We'll keep softening these guys up. One more artillery strike. Next turn, we'll be able to get the other vehicle in, plus a uh, bomb. Uh, finish softening up Kielty. Meanwhile, I got two units that can't move. I like my, my full strength group all waiting right there. I don't really see a need to move forward at the moment. He can't purchase in new units, I don't believe, so it's just a matter of he can reinforce his damaged ones. Yeah, let's not give him uh, an easy upfront target. He can mass attack by pulling guys out of the cities, even though I might enjoy that. I'm not sure I'm going to move much. Air airplanes are done. He can't move, but he's got fighters nearby. Protect. I guess we could move a few infantry guys. Don't have my fighter protection over this group this time though. They're they're rebasing. Oh, we do get a result. Sure. Youch. Alright, I might have to rethink this. <laughs> We're up to one and three result. Which would get him down to two effective strength? Oof. Oof. That's so close. So close. Nah, wait, wait around. He can't. Unless he breaks the encirclement, he can't. Uh, he can't improve his chances there, so better to wait. Uh, uh, can you learn it fast? I, I it, kind of, it depends a lot on your familiarity with the type of game. I mean, I and a lot of people that stream the game have probably played games of this type in the past quite a bit, so we're really familiar with the basics and understand some of the underlying mechanics already, even though they're maybe implemented a little differently in this game. Um, I, I can't really say. I, I don't know enough about how the game progresses difficulty-wise. Um since I haven't played a full campaign, so I don't know if somebody new to the game... I don't know how to answer the question. <laughs> uh, it's hard to answer that kind of a question, unfortunately. It's got a good manual, and it's got a really good interface. All of the information I've ever needed has been really readily accessible within one button push. Um, you can compare units, you can see all the details you need to get all the information you need, but there is quite a bit of intricate detail what I like about games of this type is that the more you play it and the more you learn, literally the better you get at it because you know how to set up encirclements and you know what units are the paper, rock, paper, scissors of what units are good or bad against other units. Um, and there are certain critical things that you can be taught or you can learn from watching people stream like I'm doing that will help tremendously, help speed things up. Like how the recon mo units move and how they can help you achieve encirclements. Um, be patient with your turn counter. Understand that you're not getting any extra reward for finishing on turn seven as opposed to turn 15, which is why I'm kind of stalling my advance at the moment. 
reinforcing my units and getting ready for the next assault. I'm trying to keep my groups together, but um, you don't get any brownie points for just rushing units forward and getting them cut up um, by letting him hit them from two or three different directions and then losing those units. So it's, it's much more important to, uh, to keep your units together, keep their experience intact, um, and carry them forward through the campaign. But I don't have enough play with the game yet to really answer some of the questions. Yeah, easy to learn, hard to master is probably a good good thing. And it has a ton, a ton of really good options you can use when you set the game up to make it easier or harder and or just change how the game plays. For example, the undo command, you can remove it entirely or you can set it to a bunch of different rules for how it can be used, when it can be used, how often it can be used. Um, a lot of things like that. Yeah, and there may be, right now, on this first scenario, I should say, the only victory objective is to capture the victory hexes. I'm not saying later in the campaign there might not be capture by turn 5, capture by turn 12, things like that. Um, there could be those in the later missions. I, I haven't played enough yet, so I've literally only played this one map. <laughs> it's the only map I'm familiar with so far. All right, uh, got distracted. What was I? Oh, I was, I was, I was really heavily debating going through with this attack, but I decided now nah, let's just wait around. So I'm happy with my arrangements up here. I'm not going to move any units. Not going to move any units. Not going to do the attack. It's still the the two planes he still has that are, that are going to annoy me the most. But at least now they're in striking distance. Now I can at least send planes over to uh, to make sure they get shot down. So they shouldn't be. A problem too much longer but they're gonna get at least one more strike in probably all right I think I'm I'm just gonna say I'm done here not gonna advance either group so that's him rebasing which I think takes up his movement well well that's interesting <laughs> so much for my bomber uh, damn it <laughs> well that ruined my plans Huh. Hey there, 10th TKS. You are an a-hole. <laughs> and my bomber had to go all the way back home again. Once again, I'm going to have a, a map where I just totally don't get to use my bomber for the second half. All right. Well, so he's now down to uh, eight suppression or up to eight suppression. So every turn he's encircled, he's taking additional suppression. So that's uh, another benefit. So suppression is fully re rested. That should be reset. Typo! Typo alert! <laughs> suppression is... I'm reading the bottom paragraph. Suppression is fully rest at the beginning of the unit's turn unless the unit is inside an encirclement. So it should be reset. Um, but yeah, so as long as I hold this encirclement, he can't get that suppression back and he actually takes additional suppression. So he's now combat ineffective. So just by delaying a turn or two, this, this fight is getting a lot easier. Uh, it's going to force a retreat, but again, I don't have enough units to completely surround him, unfortunately. And now I got this guy to deal with as well. Well, we got to send the engineers in. That's got to be the first thing. Um... I can reach that guy. <laughs> uh, the artillery has zero effect beyond, I think, I mean, the engineers are going to ignore the entrenchments anyway, and he's going to get pushed out, so the artillery is not going to help this fight. I mean, we got zero, zero effects, and these guys are going to ignore entrenchments when I send them in, so lowering the entrenchment by a value possibly is not going to help these guys anyway. And I'm not sending anybody else in first. Didn't even make a move. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Apparently, one effective strength is the minimum. <laughs> I'm guessing. Well, that's surprising. Huh. I thought for sure we'd at least make him retreat. Um...
Hit him with the tank, chase him with the, uh, the recon. All right, I want to make sure this thing gets hit. Pretty good hit. I can't quite finish him with just my recon, though. Uh, not sure I can kill them both in one round. And if I do that with my recon, it's going to leave them susceptible. Hmm. We're not going to get an overrun. <laughs> now we get a He's a terrible number over there, too. Really? I'm tempted just to sit here and reinforce. It feels weird that I can order elite reinforcements while out in the middle of a battle adjacent to an enemy unit. <laughs> it just feels weird to me that that's even an option. And I don't, I don't know that there's a downside to doing it. I'll immediately gain 5 strength back at the cost of 89, and he'll be done for the round. But I, I it just feels weird that that's possible. Uh, well, I... Uh... <laughs> Supposedly he's fully suppressed, so we're going to make a move, but we won't get an overrun. I won't be able to go join that. No. I, I don't believe so. I'm pretty sure it's it says up to 50%, so 5 is the most I'm allowed to get. So 10 is my max. I can only get up to 50%, so 5 is the max, so I'm getting strength 5. So it's not reducing the amount I'm getting. I haven't been able to find anything in the interface that says there's any problem with doing that. Even if it made me more susceptible to getting hit while I was getting reinforced or something, like I put a temporary one-round uh, malice on me, making me more susceptible to, to incoming damage or something. But, um... We might find out. <laughs> I'm going to attack with the tank. I have to. I, I want to get this done. So, we did force the move, but like I said, we did not get the, uh, the overrun. I can't kill either one of them. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I might be able to finish that guy off with, uh, one of the other planes. Mm, maybe not. If I got lucky, I might. Man, that's annoying. And now my, uh, my unit is re is, uh, encircled. <laughs> hmm... which removed my ability to elite re -play, reinforce. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I hammer an enemy unit, get them to retreat, and then get hosed. Um, I think I'm going to take the chance with one of the fighters. Let's, let's see if we can get super lucky. Nope. That's unfortunate. Good kill it. Which is good, I guess. I won't get to reinforce this round. But I can hide underneath a fighter for air support. Now, as soon as I do any action, I can no longer reinforce. If I move, if I attack, anything I do is going to cancel my reinforce option. It's only available. It consumes your entire turn. I can kill this guy, though. Move forward underneath the fighter protection. I think that's my best move at this point.
So we'll just hang out here underneath the uh, the fighter protection against his air. So I'm I'm fine here. I'm mostly unhappy just because now my bombers are delayed for another couple of rounds while we deal with this. All right, let's go north. So everybody's full strength. Uh, whoops! Ah, crap! I forgot I wanted these guys up here. <laughs> All right, get back up there. Horse march your way back up there. You guys, go ahead and advance out as far as you can. Bring up the artillery. Bring up the armor. And right there. And there. Uh, ideally, I should have the artillery here instead. Nah, I, I goofed it to the thought. Thought it through a little further. Made sure I did the artery first to get them in behind the tanks. All right. Uh, I got one plane left. We're not going to bother hitting that. I can't hit anything down there. So we're going to uh, just forward position it for air defense. And right here, shoot. And the good old bomber. And he already he had to relocate for his turn, so I think we're done. Move the arty. And could move the arty back behind. Yeah, let's move the arty back here. That way it's uh got the airplane intermediate between uh, his airfield. Yeah, that'll work. Anybody else? Oh, my pioneers. Uh, you guys. Oh, yeah, you fought, so I can't reinforce you. Yeah, we're going to spend a turn or so down here. We'll kill that thing, and we'll reinforce the, uh, the engineers before we advance. So, you're fine right where you're at. News mode. Who's next? News mode. All right, everybody's done. <laughs> you gonna attack out of the city? Ah, <laughs> that was an interesting move. Ooh, yeah, he did attack out of the city. Five, ouch. Yeah, I usually try to get uh, another unit up here on the same turn to fully support. That hurt. At least we'll be able to circle them this round. Okay, so we took a bit of a hit there. We killed his unit there, so that makes this section a lot easier. Um, you know about the artillery. I don't think he has too many more mobile units. I think he's got his planes, he's got his infantry here, and his artillery, and I think that might be it. I think we might have eliminated all of his other mobile units. So we need to kill this plane. So first, put you here. Feel free to actually do six. That, that'd be nice. That's good. No, nope, not you. Finally, one to go. All right. So our anti-air is done. That's dead. Only things mobile we have to worry about are those two. Attack bomber, a little bit of damage, a good amount of damage, and we can wait on that. Got to get rid of the. Got to get this guy out of the way, so I can get units up here to encircle. So definitely got to go there. Good hits. Mass attack. You at Ooh, still at six. Hmm. 
can't get these guys moved. I need to move this guy and get anybody up to this position. That's the most important thing. These guys are not moving. They're just going to re reinforce. Zero and three, zero and four. Force the move. And hopefully this guy can get up. Well, no, he's going to be stopped right there. I got to I gotta eliminate this guy. Otherwise, I'm not going to get anybody in position. Hmm. Hope he moves. Yay! Didn't get a uh, overrun, but um, at least... Oh, I still can't do it. <laughs> Damn it. If we can finish him, then I can get the tank up into that position. All right, cool. Now we can get the tank into the encircling position. So now he can't recover his uh, small amount of current suppression. Let's see, you're done. You, I'm not worried about maneuvering at the moment. Although I could go the long way around and hit the artillery. And we could get rid of his uh, bridge and save the capital for last. That's tempting. If I were actually ready to move these guys, I'd probably do it. Let's, uh, this, this. You are going to reinforce. You, we can move up, but I want to move up past. Yeah, that'll work. Hold on that. We already up to... That's actually where I want the already, so they can hit either position. Uh... Keep it behind the tank for now. Move up, start shelling. Should be fine. Alright, so next round, hopefully we can force march these guys and get them in range of one of these two. Um, this usually isn't too hard to take. Oh, that's right. It's already fired, so this is just a relocate. Yeah, I think we're good. This way we've got units all over. He doesn't have enough left that's mobile to really put a hurt on anything. Guess if he brought both units out, but that would be pretty stupid. Go ahead and do this. That's a no-brainer. Where are you? Rebase again. And yeah. Nope. And everybody's done. Turn eight. Pesky damn plane! <laughs> Back to full strength. Mm, we knew it was possible. Alright, let's get the obvious out of the way. Ah, we're down to four again. Once again, I'm not going to kill this stupid thing. We're going to end up taking that last airfield before he gets, before we kill all those planes. Yep, yeah, unless I get lucky. Nope. <laughs> that is so irritating. Ah, uh, good news is next round it's dead. He'll have he'll pull back. Even if he reinforces it, then uh, it'll only reinforce to a partial number, and we'll we'll definitely be able to kill it. 
So that's fine. And we've got these guys. Ah, one space. Oh no, we can make it. Cool, we can make it and deploy. Definitely where you're going. Full strength engineering unit in position. Alright. You were just going to reinforce. Um... Could just rush the bridge, push these guys off, take the airfield. We'll hurry on that one. Ah, he reinforced his artillery. Alright, let's kill the Earth. Fortunately, I can't attack with those guys. Just about finish it off. <clears throat> and I can advance the infantry up to here to finish it off also. Uh, more chasing. That's a perfect result right there. <laughs> I guess I, I will take advantage of an overrun and another overrun. That one I won't take advantage of. We finally! We got some overruns with a tank. That's the way it's supposed to work. Just weren't able to set it up this time very well. Alright, any units in remote danger? They're all near full strength, except for these guys. We go ahead and do elite replacements. And we've captured everything. Except for those last two. Go ahead and move you up into the woods here. You in position. Alright, we'll be able to do a full encirclement on Radom and then uh, easily finish it off. I need to take this first though, because I gotta capture the airfield for the uh, extra prestige if I Take that first, then as soon as I take that space, the scenario ends. <laughs> Alright. Hey there, Corbin! Civ 5? Nah. <laughs> no, no Civ in this. Let's, uh... Who do I got left? So, it's my tap bomber? Who's left, a, who's left a bomb? We actually killed everything. Yeah. Let's get you. Yeah, that's fine. Unfortunately, the problem with this square is it's the... Uh, this is important to know. The circle inside here indicates it's a supply, an originating supply hex. Basically, they have infinite supply. I can never stack up suppression. I have to do it all in one round. Every single round, no matter how much I do, this three is going to disappear because this town is a uh, an origination point for supply. So they'll always recover their full suppression. I'm not sure. Eh, yeah, we'll, we'll double check that. But um, because it's a supply square, it makes that particular space a lot harder to take. All right, you. Let's go ahead and get you in position over here. Make sure we can punch across this bridge. Uh, you're fine where you're at. You're good. And we're done. We're going to finish finish on turn 10, maybe? Alright, let's go knock that plane down first. Make sure we get the uh, XP for that. 
I don't know what the levels for experience are. So between these two, these guys have got 388. Whereas these guys, the same exact type of plane, have 325. So I don't know, for example, if 400 is a benchmark, and then it would help to have this guy cross the benchmark. Does it? I don't think it says. Logistics, swords, camouflage, yeah. I don't know. I'd have to probably check the manual. Maybe the manual says. But I think it's by the thousand, not by the hundred. So they've got a ways to go. All right, we'll send this guy over anyway, though. <laughs> He's only going to do three out of the four. That's funny. I guess we won't send that guy over. Oh, of course. Oh, they're probably suppressed by one. That's why. That's weird. You're going over it. That works. So we had, what, 388? Now we've got 436. Okay, I definitely want these two spaces first. So I think I'm going to go and advance him to this bombardment position. Now he can hit either. Oof. We're going to wait another round at least to hit that one anyway. So take the, take the bridge. And let's see. Need to bomb that thing to hell. Nope. That was a good one. Oof. Still might not quite be enough. Overrun, please. Nope. <laughs> And can't even move into the space. Well, I can get into that one. There we go. Perfect. So we killed all the units. We captured both spaces. Like I said, I needed to make sure I did this first. Because as soon as I took that, when I took that and tried to cross, that would end the scenario. And I wouldn't get those precious, precious 50 prestige points for that airfield. Now we can finish right on. Probably going to be turn 11 before we finish it. We'll finish it next round. Uh, so we'll wait. We'll just, uh, so yeah, suppression's completely gone. So suppressing it's doing absolutely nothing. So we're just going to wait. When we are ready to push in, I'll move this guy to this position. So we'll have all four of these filled. And then I'll have a tank and a tank. And we'll be good to go. So I don't really need you, but we'll bring you up just in case we need you to relocate somewhere. You're fine where you're at. Don't need you over here anymore. We'll move forward as well. All right, we're pretty much done. What? You didn't sally forth from your your what level entrenchments? Level nine entrenchments. <laughs> nine out of ten. Minus seventy two percent damage from infantry. Minus ninety percent damage from vehicles. Minus thirty six percent damage from bombardment. Yeah. All right, full strength engineers. <laughs> First, we bombard. Uh, wrong one. You. No. There we go. Let's position first. Over there. Spring infantry is going to be more effective, and we've got a tank we can fill the last gap. All right, so none of my artillery are adjacent or susceptible. So, completely surrounded, no place for him to retreat to. As soon as we can force the damage high enough and force a surrender, that's what we're looking for. And everybody can attack this ramp. So, bummer. Hey, we got a bonus. Two. Artillery. Nice artillery. Four. These engineers are going to mess this guy up. <laughs> so this is kind of a perfect case scenario. This is one of the toughest nuts to crack. I mean, an infantry dug in, almost fully entrenched in a supply space uh, location. But we got him completely surrounded with combat units. We got uh, multiple artillery. We got bombardment from airplanes. Good stuff. So he's now at what? We've managed to do one strength point and eight suppression. So he's down to six out of 15. Our engineer unit's gonna have a much better time now. Before I started all the 
artillery and airplanes, we, we had a 3-3 result. Now we're down to a 1-3 result. Plus, we're going to remove some of his, his entrenchment. So, he's at... Uh, Yeah, he's now down to four out of... Oh, that's his engineer's unit, too. Huh, interesting. Alright, so let's send him in. One out of three. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. <laughs> Alright, so... He's now down to uh, four out of ten entrenchment. And he's got four effective strength left. Infantry, one and three, one and three... Eh, one and four with the uh, the Panzer unit, but reinforcements cost more for this as well. Look at all that mass attack bonus and the engineer bonus. It's best to go in with units adjacent to the engineer first, so we get the engineer bonus. We're not getting it from the other units, so maybe this is the best one. So the engineer unit is uh, handing across this... Uh, that one. Military engineer ex ignores enemy entrenchment. If there's an engineer next to both attacking friendly unit and its target, this friendly unit also ignores 50% of the enemy entrenchment. So we're getting a 50% entrenchment reduction. So let's go ahead and go in with this. Didn't force a retreat. Oh, we did. Forced to surrender. So we took one strength point of damage. Who wants to roll in? We'll let the uh, fourth panzers. All right, here we go. <clears throat> What was it? Turn 11? So we had to reinforce, what, four times? Four units, I think? We're basically at just about full strength, finishing the scenario out. I still maintain, I don't think it's worth the attempt to try to uh, to take Kiltsy by turn four. I just don't think it's worth it. I think you have to stretch yourself out and take some risky chances, and uh, you're just more liable to lose a unit or take even heavier losses than the benefits he gets. By keeping your units together and taking your time. So, I think that's a sucker's bet. <laughs> Designed to uh, trick newbies into uh, wasting units. So, yeah, we got stats. I know you guys all like stats. Uh, I still haven't really figured this thing out. Points killed, cost. Points lost, cost. Still loss ratio. Eh. Nice. At least we're positive on all of our kill-loss ratios. 